Sonny Jurgensen, one of the foremost bombardiers in the NFL, led the Redskins to their most impressive victory against the Cowboys in D.C. Stadium. Behind 21 to nothing in the first half, Jurgensen faces the unenviable task of fighting an uphill battle. Charlie Taylor revitalizes the Redskins with this 38-yard reception. Jurgensen spears Taylor again between two Cowboys, and the streamlined back dives into the end zone to put the Redskins on the scoreboard. Taylor is a one-man assault force as he storms around right end for 18 yards. Jurgensen hits Mitchell, who shakes off Warren Livingston and sidesteps 30 yards through the Dallas secondary. The Burgundy and Gold inch closer on Koya's sideline grab. Jurgensen punches over from one yard out to put the Redskins back in contention, 24 to 13. Charlie Taylor brings the Redskins even closer with his 23-yard run to the Dallas two. Behind picture blocking, Danny Lewis thunders through an enormous hole to score. And the Redskins move closer, 24 to 20. Now back on the attack, Jurgensen sights the freewheeling Mitchell, who scampers 15 yards to the Dallas 49. Jurgensen hits Koya, and the slender split in finally runs out of room deep in cowboy territory. Sonny caps this drive with a rifle shot to Mitchell on the post pattern as a beaten Cornell Green sprawls dormant on the turf. That same play, as recorded by the National Beer ground camera, shows Green's frustration and Washington's jubilation. With only two minutes to play and the Redskins trailing 31 to 27, Jurgensen hits Jerry Smith over the middle. The seconds tick by as Jurgensen pressured out of the pocket by the Cowboy line. Spots Mitchell streaking across the field and Bobby makes a remarkable diving catch on the Dallas Five. Koya ambushes Warren Livingston with a perfect flag pattern, and Jurgensen hits him with the winning touchdown. A dramatic comeback 34-31 victory is mirrored on the faces of a happy band of Redskins. Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys take over. Bobby Mitchell, one of the running backs, for the first time a starter as a running back since 1961. Jurgensen to Charlie Taylor. 17 yards, Livingston making the stop. Now on first down, Jurgensen to Bobby Mitchell. A gain of four. Jordan, the tackler. Now in first and ten, the Redskins with the ball. Bobby Mitchell. The 
That gentleman, number 74, is Lilly, the all-pro return. And the Redskins have the ball in their own territory. No score in this ballgame. Jurgensen to Jerry Smith. Good grab for 11 yards. And now on third down, it's Jurgensen again to the air. Sonny Jurgensen, who has completed more passes than any passer in the NFL to this date, hits Burrell for nine yards. Howley and Jordan making the tackle. And all of a sudden, Cameron has the football. Bobby Mitchell going around right in, trying to get outside Mike Gector. Cornell Green coming up to bump him out of bounds. A gain of five. Later in the second period, the Redskins again have possession. Sonny Jurgensen to Jerry Smith. Jordan after him. Livingston finally brings him down. A gain of 34 yards on the play. On first down, Jurgensen to Bobby Mitchell. Cornell Green hit him just as he caught the ball. Right down on the goal line. Deep in his own end zone, the kick is blocked. Cameron came in the pocket. Rieger recovers, Redskin touchdown. And the Redskins take the lead 10 to seven. Let's watch this again. Villanueva was only about 10 yards back and Carl Kammer came slashing in to block the kick and Rigger recovered for the Redskins. In the third quarter, tied ball game. Remember all the Cowboys need is a tie to wrap up the Eastern Division Conference title. Jurgensen to Bobby Mitchell. Renfro after him. makes the tackle but it's a gain of 42 yards take a look at that again from the end zone camera Jurgensen getting good protection from his forward line good catch by Mitchell and the foot race is on Sonny Jurgensen to Bobby Mitchell Cornell Green taking him out of bounds a gain of 11 Sonny Jurgensen with his team trailing 17 to 10. It's Charlie Taylor. Livingston to make the tackle, a gain of 10. Sonny Jurgensen noticed that, and on this very next play, he looks for Bobby Mitchell, who's in Green's territory, and it's touchdown, Redskins. We'll take a look at that play again. Now it's Sonny Jurgensen's turn. And he throws deep for Charlie Taylor. Livingston after him. And Livingston gets him. A gain of 53 yards on the play. 53 yards on the play. On second down. Jurgensen in the pocket. It's Jerry Smith on a good catch for 17 yards. Renfro pins him down. Jurgensen again selects Jerry Smith as his target. In the end zone. Touchdown Redskins. It's a tie ball game, 24-24. 31-24 Cowboys lead, but hold it. Jurgensen. Throws to Charlie Taylor. And as soon as he crosses that goal line, it'll be tied up again. 65 yards. Take a look at that again from the end zone camera. Jurgensen to Taylor. Gector after him, but they're not going to catch him. It's a 31-31 ball game.
After forcing the Cowboys to punt, the Redskins have two minutes to put across the go-ahead score and halt the Cowboys in their drive to that Eastern Division crown. Whitfield. Good blocking and good moves by Whitfield as he goes for 30 yards. Down to the 26, and after moving down to the 22, Charlie Gogolak, with the pressure on, puts it through the uprights from 29 yards out, and the Redskins win the ball game. Only four seconds remain when that ball went through the uprights. Redskins 34, the Cowboys 31, and the drama of the Eastern Division of the National Football League goes down to the final week. Redskins met Dallas for the second time, they were tougher. This was Jurgensen's most brilliant performance of the year, as he hit on 70% of his passes for 265 yards and four touchdowns. Two of his touchdown tosses went to number 87, Jerry Smith, as he solidified his position as the league's brightest new tight end star. When the Cowboys were forced to put double coverage on Smith, number 25, A.D. Whitfield, was left one-on-one -on -one with the Dallas corner linebackers. Behind 20 to 6, the Cowboys were at the four yard line late in the third period. Number 28, Dick Smith, made the defensive play of the game and squelched the Dallas drive. The offensive line of Hawes, Shonky, Permuto, Snowden, and Johnson, which protected Jurgensen better than any quarterback in the league, continued to afford plenty of operating room against the Dallas defense, which up until this game led the league in quarterback pursuit. Touchdown pass to Bobby Mitchell marked the second time this season Jurgensen had thrown for four scores in a single game. The Redskins withstood a late Dallas surge and their 27 points assured victory and revenge. A team that did so... in the finest quarterback ever to play the game. Three seconds remaining and no more timeouts. Sonny had one last chance. Number 38, Larry Smith, barely crossed the imaginary plane of the end zone to complete a 2017 Washington victory. The win was but further evidence of the sheer greatness of a healthy Christian Adolph Sonny Jurgensen, which went out. Today, Sonny Jurgensen destroyed one of football's most potent defensive units. And on this Sunday, defense almost became a lost art. Forgotten with all that redskin running going on, what Christian Adolph Jurgensen does better than anyone in pro football is pass. This one was good to Bob Long for 30 yards. In the fourth quarter, Sonny whistled the ball down those rusty pipes and went 11 for 11 on plays like this one to Roy Jefferson. And you've got to hand it to Sonny Jurgensen. When it comes to cool pressure passing, he has no peer. Unrelentingly, the Redskins closed and finally Jurgy hit Larry Brown in the end zone to lead a great come from behind victory 